Monkeypox is now a global health emergency, and there are now several thousand cases here in the United States with infections about with multiple infections in about 40 countries, including some cases here in Duval County. Now, right now, there are over 5,000 cases in the United States. Now, that includes over 300 cases in Florida, and most of these cases are in gay and bisexual men. Now, we're still learning about how this virus spreads and who is at risk. But joining me now to talk more about this is Shalika Katugaha. This is the System Medical Director for Infectious Disease uh, Specialist. Now, Dr. K, with all of the cases starting to come here in Duval County, what do people need to know? Sure. So what monkeypox is, just very briefly, is a rare infection caused by the virus monkeypox. Symptoms that people need to look out for are rash, fever, malaise, and lymphadenopathy. So the CDC is tracking this outbreak and Florida is one of the top jurisdictions reporting cases um, in nationally. So it's spread by close contact transmission. And so we all need to know that it's out there and that we should all be watching for it because if you have symptoms for it or if you've been exposed to someone who has it, you may be candidate for the vaccine or for an antiviral that we have. And speaking of the vaccine, um, is there a particular group that needs to get the vaccine or should everyone get it? Sure. How does the vaccine work? So the way that this vaccine has been rolled out nationally is in a phase, well, or at least in Duval County, we're phase one, two, three. So what happens when we have vaccines that are a limited supply is that we get it to individuals who need it the most. That's how we prioritize. So right now, Duval County is in phase one, which means that people who are eligible are laboratory or healthcare workers who are high risk for an exposure, people who have actually been exposed, men who have sex with men with HIV, who are immunocompromised, who could have potentially been exposed, or other men who have sex with men who have recently had an STD. So how does it work? So you have to still get in touch with your healthcare provider and your healthcare provider will then refer you if you're appropriate to the Florida Department of Health. So if you call the Department of Your Health yourself, you're likely to hear that please go through your provider and have them make the phone call that you need it. And so the goal is that we'll get somewhere to phase two and phase three, which means that even more high risk individuals will get it. So phase two will be MSM with HIV who are at high risk, who haven't already got it. And then hopefully phase three can be all MSM who are at risk, men who have sex with men. And we know, as you just mentioned, there are people who are a little bit more high risk than others, but can anyone get uh, this virus? Anyone can get this virus. So predominantly it has been in men who have sex with men and in, in bisexual transgender individuals in the up 90th percentile. That being said, anyone can get this virus. And the whole um, idea of be, being declared a global emergency is that we need to get ahead of it and we need to stop it now before it becomes more commonplace and we become used to hearing it and it becomes a thing for us here. And what is the biggest difference between this virus and COVID-19? Sure. So COVID-19 is easily transmissible in the air, and that's why we have everyone wearing masks or had everyone wearing masks. Now this disease is through close contacts. So either contact with an individual, contact with their bed linens, clothes, et cetera. So it does require some close contact for transmission. So it's not necessarily airborne. So we're not telling everyone to wear a mask necessarily, but to stay vigilant and to know that it's out there and that people could be sick and have it. And certainly, you know, when it comes to safe sex practices, that's key, you know, limiting the number of partners right now for MSM. Those are more targeted messages that we're trying to get out there. So essentially, uh, some of the best ways to prevent this is kind of be aware of your surroundings and also get vaccinated. Um, get vaccinated if it's appropriate for you. Not everyone needs the vaccine. So only these targeted groups. And so if you're part of that group, please be vigilant. Please take care of yourself and please reach out to your health care provider if you think you've been exposed or could have monkeypox. Hey, thank you so much, Dr. K. That information was so insightful and is much needed because I know so many people have so many questions about this virus. So thank you again for joining us this morning. Thank you for having me.